a time when the sun was shining bright. So I went down to the beach to catch me a tan. Then the next thing I knew, a wave 20 feet high came and washed your whole country away. And all at once, you could hear the screaming chains, and no one was safe from the wave. There were Africans drowning. Little tournaments swept away. You could hear God laugh and swim, you bitches swim. So now you screw. It's the tsunami You better run or kiss your ass away Go find your mommy I just saw a flow by A tree went through a head And now your children will be sold Child slavery So now you're screwed basically happened was this radio station in New York City, Hot 97, um, and one of its major um, DJs, this, this Miss Jones, um, came up with this song and, and, and played it on the air, and because of this, she basically got a slap on the wrist. She, she was told that, you know, this song was inappropriate, and, you know, just don't do it again, and it won't be a problem. So this song... Had, um, horrible lyrics about how the tsunamis like you know destroying people and look at the chimps running away from the waves. Like your little girl, you're gonna be like the kids. Your mom is dead, so the kids are gonna be like slaves and shit. So into slavery. See if I made a song about like black people and slavery, and you went something like, "Hey, look at the damn niggas like running away from the whips and shit." People will be flipping out, there will be like racial riots and stuff, and that guy would definitely get fired, he would never get a job as, you know, again, in the U.S. So, I don't understand how, like, Miss Jones and all that stuff get away with it. Miss Jones was suspended for a month and she got back on there, and no punishments. She was first, like, publicly racist when the game Ghetto Poly came out, and um, it was made by an Asian guy, and it talked about, like, it was just like Monopoly with like stuff, references to the ghetto and stuff. And people felt it was very demeaning to African Americans. Made people think that all blacks were like gangsters and drug dealers and low lives and whatnot. And this was one single case, by the way. The Asian community completely denounced the game. And, um, but Miss Jones went, was on the air and she encouraged her listeners to call in with racist remarks against Asians and encourage like black people to verbally abuse Asians. And think about this. What I said, if you show just the clip of what I said to like an African American, there will be people like with like glocks and shit like beating down my daughter more. But if you showed like the same like like an like an educated American, any American, but it's black, white, it's not Asian, of course. Um, that shit about the uh, tsunami song, I don't think many of them will be too uh, disgusted. This is action. That's all. But, you know, aside from like the, you know, my ass, aside from like the racist aspect of it, mm-hmm. like, it, 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 it's talking about people, like, being killed. You know, it doesn't yeah. matter if they're black, white, or whatever. And they're making fun of that. That's stupid. That's just like making a song about, like, the, uh, what you call that, the uh, Holocaust. It's just be like, oh, look at this, na- look at this Jewish. My fuck is cooking in the oven. Ha ha ha. No, it's just wrong. I think in this country, Asians don't get the respect that they deserve. And uh, African Americans and Latino and Hispanics get away with being racist. Um, while Asians are just kind of like, he would just be like, oh, it's just, you know, they're not from this country, blah blah blah. But a lot of Asian Americans are born in this country, you know. This country, I thought, you know, was built on immigration. I mean, the British came to kill all the Native Americans and whatnot. And then, then you had the Irish, the Italians. 
you know, different generations of immigrants contribute to different cultures and different, you know, uh, skills and different aspects to, you know, different aspects of societies and helped America to become what it is today. And Asians are a lot of very good scientists in chemical and bi biological and, computer and IT stuff are Asians. They contribute a lot of stuff to this country. But it would be hard for them to be truly accepted as a uh, member of the society. You know, people always feel that, you know, Asians don't belong here. So I think the Asians have earned the right by uh, the success in this society to, be, to get a little respect. They've been here for generations, it's still they're never accepted. So I feel that this is crap and that America has to, you know, look at it look at uh, it just, you know, the station, whatever, the owners behind the station should fire Miss Jones right now. I mean, this song just shows, you know, we still have a lot of work to do as a country, you know. The fact that we can allow something like this to go on and still, like, accept this this type of, of, of racial inequality that that something like this be allowed on the air, you know, it's just, it fucking disgusts me. It's, <laughs> you know, it's just, it's not even not even acceptable because that is just crap and also they're saying that um, a lot of the fault was not Miss Jones's fault it was the producers fault I believe that's crap because what happened was when they played the song there were actually uh, people who come to the station to complain they'd be like how can you do this you're so heartless blah blah blah, blah whatsoever and actually the DJs responded by playing the music a second time so, you know, it's just blatant racism, you know. So what, what happened? Like, how'd you just hear about it? Just take away her job. She'll, she'll be... Um, actually, I read it on, like, uh, somebody's, like, uh, diary website. You know, you don't really hear about it in the mainstream media. I remember, like, I remember hearing about this, and, and it was real small. It was it was mentioned in, in maybe the New York Times or something like that. It wasn't, it wasn't anything that was on national news. And I remember reading about... Uh, just the the insane amount of protests that happened afterwards. Just the the protests far outweighed the media coverage. Um, and I remember I, I, I seen a video actually on a local New York news station where they had this um, you know respected Asian politician leading a group of of just a different. It wasn't it wasn't even like an all Asian group. It was you know a mixture of you know blacks, whites, Latinos. Everyone you know was pissed about this. This wasn't just a Asian only people were you know not listening to this woman anymore people were deciding you know I'm not gonna even listen to Hot 97 anymore you know this is just far over the line you know I'm I'm not Asian or whatever but I'm a human being and this is wrong you know what I mean and people people were saying this people were thinking this and, and that's that's something you know that just it just shows how intense this was you want your radio station to to be able to you know speak their mind and if they want to talk about something you know whatever but you know Something like this is it, it not only has it crossed the line, it's just kind of destroyed the line. It's you know, it's just it's so perverse that y you just don't even want to think about it. It just it's beyond acceptable. Just it's sad. I guess you can say this is what America's come to. So be happy till you're fired. My people's is pissed tones. And I bet you not a soul will miss Jones. Miss who? My point exact. And tell the rest of your staff that they need to clean up their act. Fuck the tsunami song and whoever thought of it. Matter of fact, fuck the engineer that recorded it. And the brains behind the scenes that applauded it. Anything for ratings, huh? This shit is corporate.